Well, we did it. We did. Some people didn't think we would. We Bollywood boycotted the shit out of that. I just... So much Bollywood, so much boycott. That's what you were wondering why it took so long. Yeah. We just, we just, we wanted to join in the boycott for at least four days. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction YouTube Corbin. I'm Rick. Nick Falls and Instagram. Look at that! For more juicy content. Look at that! Patreon follows to account. Subscribe to your channel. Hi, Patreon. Like button! And you're like, oh, well, y'all are in a different place. Yeah, we're in my car! Yeah! Um, we just, we just stepped out of Lao Sing Chadda. Ch Chadda? Oh, movie view, you know that. Yeah, you know, you that's why you're here. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lao Sing Chadda. Chadda. Uh, just stepped out, and it's a theater that's kind of a little more farther away than we normally go to, and it's like not on the way back home for each of us to kind of go back, so sometimes, you've done it a few you've times. You've seen this a couple times. Um, so we are doing the review straight from our car, so you get the freshest of thoughts. Fresh, really. right, hot off the presses. Um, and there, if you're wondering why we didn't get to it immediately, I got sick the day we were going to go to the Lao Sing Chadda. I thought it was COVID. Wasn't. I'm all better now. Um, got a little bug or something like that. But abundance so, of caution. And then Rick was busy this weekend, and so so we, we, it just had to be pushed a little. And so that's why you're just getting it now. We weren't actually boycotting. Yeah, no, if you think we were boycotting, <laughs> you're very, you don't know us very You well. don't know us well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, but obviously we're doing a review of Lao Sing Chadda. Uh, this will be a, a little non-spoiler, and then we'll get into some spoils as well. It is the official Indian remake adaption-ish style thing of uh, the American film Forrest Gump and I have seen um, not other but I have seen I think I don't think I've seen any other Americans review this film hmm. and so I think that's a particularly interesting place to come from yeah being that Forrest Gump is one of the most American films that you can think of yeah it is entrenched in American pop culture history at least current more recent yeah uh, history than anything it's holds it's a special a place American in most film. Americans' hearts. Yes. Like, I, I, they know every plot point. They know, ev like, what's coming up. As a kid, even though I probably shouldn't have watched it as a kid, I knew I knew every word of this film. I, I love Forrest Gump. Yeah. And as do most Americans. Yeah, it's in the lexicon of everybody's cinematic understanding, along with films like The Godfather and mm -hmm. Schindler's List and Platoon. And you just go down the list of, like, 150 films that would be great American movies Forrest Gump is in most people's top tens. Yeah, yeah. easily. Um, so uh, we'll do a little non-spoiler and then we'll get into some spoils, but it'll be coming obviously from that perspective. Um, but uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. When the movie ended, I knew what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say, Mr. Amir Khan, how many times will you win my heart? Um, that's a phrase that I've seen repeated over and over again whenever we have embraced or loved something or surprised mm -hmm. stupid babies with things. Yeah. Um, I, I, it surprised me. Mm. I was hoping it would be good and it was better than I was hoping. And mm. for the things that it didn't replicate from Forrest Gump, mm. it made up for in the things that it created. Yeah. I thought, and I, I, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. I, I was I was so skeptical going in. You know, we've been looking forward to this film for so long, <laughs> long time. Uh, I think since the beginning of the channel. Yeah. Like since we started watching Amir Khan, and then we were like, "What's he? What's he doing next?" Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's doing Forrest Gump remake. Oh, that's wait. awesome! I can't wait for that. And then pandemic happens, and then so it's been so so long waiting for this. So and then I've I've, you know, all the drama going up for stupid drama by the way very stupid drama for no reason really um of people and then i heard criticisms and, and all this kind of stuff and even though i do have some criticisms that that stuff i didn't love overall i i really enjoyed the film i it was i throughout the film i thought they did a superb job of what i wanted them to do yeah i i didn't want an official remake Obviously, and you can't. We, we said it multiple times. No. Whenever we heard this was coming up, you cannot do a remake of Forrest Gump in India and make it the exact same way. It's impossible. impossible. Because it's so entrenched in American culture and pop culture and history. And so I was like, you literally have to do so many different kind of things. And oh. also, it's a very risque film. Yeah. And so they that's the part that they did not do 
in yeah. this one. It and, was and, much more commercial Forrest Gump yes. than the uh, gritty, I would say, original The grittier Forrest parts Gump. of yeah. the other Forrest Gump, which yeah. we can talk about that in the spoiler section. I, 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 um... We knew when this was coming out, we said that at the outset. We're like, this is going to have to be, for lack of a better term, Indianized. Because Mm -hmm. that's why Forrest Gump is what it is. It's so Americanized. Mm -hmm. It's so rooted and ingrained that way. Which actually, we felt, made it a really good possible film. When you think about if it's done the right way, there's so much that you could do. It could really be replicated if someone has a vision for it in any country. And oh, yeah. just insert the things of your country that would History, be as yeah. emblematic and historic, absolutely. And and that this <laughs> atypical Carney man. Um, yeah, the, uh, I would message. We, we've messaged each other on Instagram, and I'm not on, on Instagram anymore. But that that you wrote this in two weeks, man, mm. is <laughs> on freaking real. Yeah, I thought I thought he did a, a really good job, Atulko Carney. Of um, bring because that, that that was the thing I was looking forward to most. Like I said, the the things that they're gonna do differently. That I because obviously you can follow the plot points if if you know the original Forrest Gump. Right. But there's stuff that they do that's very different. Right. And sometimes it's totally different. Totally obviously. different. And I, I loved it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I loved all the adaptions that they did. I loved. Uh, let's just get. We'll into get into it. the spo- Well, let me I'm, one one thing before we get into the spoilers. Well, um, one of the most important things I was looking for, because in addition to, as part, not in addition, as part of the iconic nature of this film, one of the single most important parts of Forrest Gump is the score. Mm. That when you hear the main theme from Forrest Gump, you're instantly emotional because it brings back everything the movie means to you, how much emotion you felt watching the film. Mm. And that's one of the things I was looking for was, how are they going to do that? Because that's a really... Like the rest of the film, it's a high mark to try to have to obtain, and major, major kudos to the co- the composer credited for this is is Pritam Chakraborty, mm. and and I tip of the cap, you gave a nod to the original Forrest Gump theme mm-hmm. by including some intervals that were very reminiscent without being plagiaristic mm. at all and created your own theme in exactly the same way that the film creates its own sense of self, where it takes from the original and then makes something of its own fingerprint on it that's, Mm -hmm. in my estimation, I mean, nothing will ever be better than Forrest Gump, but I I don't know how you couldn't be happy with the film in, in, in terms of how high the expectations are and how closely they hit all the marks. Yeah, and um, it's, it's a lot of the um, critiques that I've heard about this film are actually um, Amir Khan himself. Some people saying he overdoes it, right? Uh, and this is what I'll say. At times, he made choices. They were bold choices that I personally probably wouldn't have done, hmm. right? But I will give him this. That one, I think that's also only like... 20, like if it's 80 20, right? That he'll, you, the other times you're gonna get Amir Khan and his great performance, right? The times that I, 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 I'm pretty sure I can point to the parts that they think that are, you know, him kind of hamming it up, like that, this different kind of stuff, right? I think he was trying to do something totally different. I know he was. Which is good. Yep. I think it would have been completely and utterly worse if he would have, you would have seen him doing. Laugh a lot. Like if he, yeah. like if you saw him doing an impersonation of Forrest Gump. Absolutely. I thought it. W- I think that could have been a train wreck. And I actually, because Indrani saw it with us too. I leaned over and asked her. I said, "Is he giving an affectation to the way he's speaking? That is what Hanks did." And she said, "He is, but it's not the same. Mm-hmm. He's doing something with the way he's saying things that lets you know that he's he's." got the same kind of a mental challenge that Forrest has in mm-hmm. Forrest Gump, mm-hmm. but he's not giving an affectation in the same way at all. It's his own yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's, I've, that's the critique I've heard the most is actually people critiquing him. But I think once again, people are being very critical and thinking this film was supposed to be Forrest Gump. Right. In terms of like how intense and Forrest Gump was, how like sexual Forrest Gump was. And like, they wanted him to give Hanks his performance. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's unfair. <laughs> you should never expect that. It's, no. That was that performance shouldn't have even worked, honestly. It's, that's why they made fun of it in Tropic Thunder. Like, and you know, all the you know people that, like, that's good. You never go full 
no, it would, would clean, correct it would be word. like, what are you going to do if you were doing another, uh, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean? You're just going to impersonate Johnny Depp? No, no I mean, the, 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 train the lesson should have been learned. Everybody watch Joaquin Phoenix play the Joker. He yeah. didn't imperson impersonate impersonate Heath Ledger. No, and so there are times that I personally probably would have asked him to maybe tone certain things down just a little bit. Mm. But there's, the, like, like I said, eighty percent of the time, there's multiple times he'll gonna make you cry. In this, he, thing. Did I, he, I, I think he made you cry, uh, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> I would have been. My throat was hurting. My nose was running, and both Andrani and I were crying. Yeah. And the, and he in the spots spots I expected it, spots I didn't expect it, and I've said this about him over and over and over again. One of my favorite things about Amir Khan is his emotional availability. He is always emotionally available, and I don't believe it's a contrivance. I believe he goes to places in his own personal life and uses things like substitution. He may not articulate it that way within the vernacular of the art form, but he absolutely shares his soul with his characters, and you feel not just for, but with his characters. Yeah. And it came through again. Yeah, and so um, I... I want to commend him for yeah. for for his performance, even though I, I know he's facing criticisms for it. And I, I just the whole drama behind this thing is so fucking stupid, yep. and I hate it for him because obviously this is just where the Indian industry is right now in terms of the audience and what they're just wanting to boycott. Whatever it, it has, and, it, and it's so idiotic. it sadly has nothing to, to do, do with that. artistry. No, absolutely nothing. It's really sad. But I, the other people I do want to talk about, because I, I thought there were actually some really good performances in here. First and foremost, the, 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 the what's her name? The woman who replaced Sally Fields. Forrest's uh, mom. Yeah, you wanted to know Forrest's mom. Let's, because I agree with, at one point, when I was thinking it, which is usually from my O-positive wife, um, I she leaned over and said to me, she's doing an amazing job, and I was going to tell her. Mona Singh? Yeah, Mona Singh. Mona Singh? Mona Singh? Uh, yeah, Mona Singh. Magnificent uh, performance. Because Sally Fields, is a, you know, obviously I, I, I'm hoping as you know a, a um, icon and a national treasure for yeah. America yeah um, and she gave a great performance as Forrest's mom iconic performance as oh, Forrest's yeah. mom I thought she did a fantastic job making it her own yep and also bringing the same emotion that she needed to yep like I didn't cry but I almost did at the I don't want to say the, the moment but it was we'll toward, it, it was the towards spoiler the section. beginning I think you know what I'm yeah. that, that I'm talking about I, yeah. that moment it was so gut wrenching that moment mm -hmm. right yeah. uh, and I thought she and the kid I thought did a great, great job, job. That's not easy. I actually thought he did better than Young Forest and Forest Gump. I agree. I'm going to be honest with you. I agree. <laughs> he did. He right? was better than the Young Forest and Forest Gump. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so because it's it's hard for kids to to play. Yeah. It's, a mentally, not, it's, it's not. It's easy. Hard for adults to play mentally challenged people. Absolutely. So it's especially hard for a kid. I thought he did a ma a masterful job at it. The guy who played Bubba, I think it was. Was it? Yeah. It was. Uh, um, forgive any mispronunciation. Was it him? Hold on. Yeah. Bala. Uh, Naga Chatanya. Um, Akineni, forgive me for any mispronunciation. I thought he did a really good job, and I yep. also thought it was really interesting because he, you could see, like, right when he, he did this thing with his jaw that Bubba did, and yeah. I was like, uh-oh, I was nervous for I a know, second. I know, I was too. Like, I was uh, like, oh, don't go too don't, hard, don't go don't too do hard. Don't do it, don't do it! <laughs> but I thought it was a nice homage, me too. but it wasn't like a, it wasn't a caricature, it wasn't an impersonation. No. It was just, he brought that little trait. And then it was this I, guy's character. I wonder if that was his call or if it was Amir's or it was his the uh, director. Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 yeah, or Atul scripted it that way or mm -hmm. um, whatever the choice was to justify it, it felt justified. Yeah, so I thought he did really well. And now, come on, I, the other person I was really impressed with. Uh, Karina Kapoor. Karina Kapoor. Yeah, a, I was <laughs> slightly disappointed just... Be not really, because I knew they were going for more commercial. Just because Jenny is so. Should we get into spoilers? Yeah, let's just get into spoilers. We're gonna. We have if to talk. If you haven't to watched, talk about Jenny, we've got to get into spoilers. If you haven't watched it, just stop listening to everybody else. Yes. And just please go watch. Go it. Go see the movie. It's a very enjoyable, great adaption of Forrest Gump. Yes. That they Indianized, and I thought yes. they did a really, really good job. It's you should enjoy it. You should get the same feels you got, which is saying a lot. It, yeah. It's saying a lot. It's like having watched somebody, you know, pitch a no hitter and expect someone else to go out the next day on the same field and come close to doing it. And by golly, this thing came really close, man. Yeah. So yeah. And so uh, I would go, just go in. Like, you're gonna get a, an Indian, more commercial adaption. Not, it's not like um, a, a masala film. I'm not saying not that. at all. I'm just, it's it's more commercial than it's Forrest more, Gump. It's more accessible to a broader audience. Audience, yeah. Than, 
Um, and so, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it and then come back. For okay, spoilers. time for spoils. Karina Kapoor. Um, that would be my one disappointment with it. It was more of that that character is so gritty and it's so intricate and she's so nuanced and she has so much going on behind her that I liked those things that they took out. Like, I, I, the things that they took out, I wish were in there. You wish they were Because in? I think they add so much to her character. They, I get it. Yeah. I get it. But just on her performance, though, this is my favorite performance of hers. She was I mean, I know we haven't seen fantastic. a ton of her. And so obviously we, we need to get into more of her. But this is my favorite performance of her. I thought she did a really good job playing a really tough character. A very interesting, nuanced, deep character. And very, very grounded. Mm -hmm. Which is saying a lot. And it also says a lot about, about um, Amir Khan's performance. For all of the people who had any problems with any of the things that they felt were clownish. Um... It's it's a it's a tremendous attribute to the, the I felt that they were wonderfully compatible with each other. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked the 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 continued through line. They kept the abuse at home. Mm -hmm. um, Although I didn't like um, I, I did do something I didn't like. I didn't want her to go I mean, when she went in. To, once again, spoilers. If she, when she went in to get to the abuser, mm. right? Yeah, I didn't need that because that one of the things I really liked about Jenny is that. All of her past stuff is really vague about what all went on mm. that we didn't see. Yeah, she just throws the rocks at the house, so you know. Yeah, it was yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. You just know it was bad. Right. And so it, it didn't ruin anything, but it, it's just I didn't need that little affirmation. Oh, it's because yeah, that was she a little abuse. I right? agree. That would be a little bit spoon feeding, yeah. as it were, to to an audience to make sure they connect the dots rather than just let them connect the dots. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that that would be my thing, but I I do agree. Uh, she, the, what she brought her emotion availability in this, um, you could see so much going on behind her. I thought she did a really commendable job. Yeah, in a really tough role. Yeah, Jenny might be. I mean, obviously, Force is ridiculously hard because you're playing a mentally challenged person. That, right, that brings its own things. But the equally tough performance that. Um, how am I forgetting her name? Karina. No, the, the original actress. Oh, um, I I but, don't remember. No, it's um. Fuck me. I see your face. No, it's Buttercup. Um, I know. What's her fucking name? <laughs> I know it's Buttercup. <laughs> okay, keep going. Just but talk anyway, about, talk about you. She. I, I, look it up, I feel like, in some respects, this this Jenny that Karina portrayed is even harder in a certain respect because the fact that Robin the, White. That's Robin it. Wright. Robin Wright. The fact that this Jenny isn't as screwed up. She's not a drug addict. Mm -hmm. Um. She, she, so she, she has, she has, there could have easily been, and it's an, it's an, it's a tribute to the writing. You could have easily found moments in this where you were like, why is Jenny wanting to kill herself? Mm -hmm. It's justified with the drug addiction because she's just strung out and she wants to end her life and she's just so unhappy. But I felt that it, I believed her. I believed when she stood up on that rail that she had a reason to do what she was doing. And I loved the addition of the airplane. You liked that it was a mirror that when she thought of a mirror's character. Yes. Oh, I I don't know if I loved that part. I did because the I, romantic in me got it got me good. Yeah, I because I I love the Jenny character because it's it's I, you don't know what brought her down from that ledge. I know it doesn't actually tell you. Right. And so the, the, those are the the, the slight adaptions. I that loved. It's I loved mostly. It. Well, I'm a sap baby. <laughs> I know you are. I'm a sap. <laughs> I know you. I love it. Um, but I thought she did a really good job. The, the sure. one character that I was, I'm still a little confused as to why they changed. Oh, I, and I liked and this so much. I liked it. Uh, was Lu the lieutenant, lieutenant Dan? Dan. Uh, get to, I don't want to say just call him lieutenant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the actor because I let thought me the actor did a, a, a fine job. Yeah, he did. Uh, Manavij. Uh, Manavij. Who played Muhammad Paji? Yes. Once again, spoilers. Um, it's, I just, I don't get the change. Why? I mean, I understood the whole. Obviously, I'm going to tell them about my friends like you. Right. They, they led to a great line about religion <laughs> causing malaria. Yeah, that religion causes malaria is a <laughs> great, great line. Iconic line. I love yeah. that line. Um, but I just don't understand the need for that full change. I and also I don't know how they didn't recognize that that was a terrorist because he wasn't in an Indian uniform. Right. I mean, there's a little bit of a strained credulity yeah, there that somebody sure. could have recognized who he was and went, "Oh, you're here." <laughs> um, <laughs> seriously, yeah, exactly. So For the sure. fact that the medics came yeah. and they too like Forrest, you know, they they wanted to help him out. But um, I, the romantic in me, the sap, I liked that aspect of 
the, the, the enemy being somebody that is seen through the eyes of our protagonist mm. and having a change where he recognizes that what he learned was from a young age to hate without ever experiencing the other side and it makes him want to go back to teach. Um, in, a, in a way, it because I was wondering where they were going to go with that because mm -hmm. there were so many different things we did. I was like, you can't do the storm. Are you going to do an earthquake? Yeah. What are you going to do? I did miss the storm. Moment, yeah, because that's an iconic and, moment. And that moment that's kind of non-replicatable unless you do it exact, where Lieutenant Dan is swimming away. Yeah. Iconic and moment. It's an it's a fantastic that, moment. That would probably be my biggest gripe, I think, with the film. Not not his performance, but the they watered down his character a lot. Well, it got less time and less interaction. I, 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 I would have probably preferred sticking with Lieutenant Dan and let it be the guy that was commanding him and said, you're a genius, you're a genius. And he yeah. says, I am. He says, yeah, you know how long you've been a genius? I just found out right now. Yeah. That made me laugh really <laughs> that was, hard. That was good. Uh, but then again, I like, I like the bravery mm. of going in a completely different direction with it and saying, okay, we're not going to make it Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. We're going to make it the enemy. I, I, I do, the brave choice. I do give them a co uh, commend, uh, <laughs> commend them for, for doing that change because when that happened, I was like, oh, this is different. Yeah. <laughs> I, did not, I did not I like see that, that one coming. It, they were like, we're going to make this our own. We don't need to. I thought he was just going to save the enemy. Right. But then that became Lieutenant Dan. Right. Um, but the Lieutenant Dan is, he has some of the most iconic moments in all of Forrest Gump. Um, he has an absolute and the performance incredible is incredible performance. arc through line. I don't guys, you may, may not know this, but Gary Sinise, who played Lieutenant Dan from that day till now has been so connected to the veterans of our nation mm. and they love Lieutenant Dan. He has a band that has the name Lieutenant Dan in it. <laughs> Every single Memorial Day, he does a benefit concert for all of the veterans in the United States. I mean, like that movie transformed his life mm -hmm. as so that's how big lieutenant dan is in forrest gump so to have the balls to go we don't need lieutenant dan in our remake of forrest gump that's pretty freaking ballsy man <laughs> that's really very ballsy you got some scriptorial cojones <laughs> um a lot of the other stuff that i i did really enjoy was a lot of the um the moment that made me emo I didn't cry, but it made me emotional, um, was at the beginning when the mom and the kid and she started cutting his hair. Oh, that killed me. That knowing obviously what we know now about the six and, and what, um, the, the, the hair and the, <sighs> the turban. minute she started to undo it, I'm like, yeah, she's going to cut his hair. Yeah. And so obviously I love the, the interweaving of the history mm. of that, obviously, and, and how they decided to do that. I love, like the first half is, is really incredible in the, the way they interwove the history, like the, the American history in Forrest Gump. I thought it was very masterful in how they did it. Yeah. I, I really did. But that moment in particular was really powerful. Agreed. And a really good job. Agreed. By the acting, the writing, the yep. directing of, of all of it. And the two most important moments for me that have impacted me I've even, you may remember it, in mm -hmm. theater class, one of my favorite moments by an actor mm -hmm. ever in cinema history is Tom's monologue at Jenny's Grave. Mm, yeah. And I've played clips of it in theater class before because when when Hanks says, I miss you, Jenny, I miss you, Jenny. it kills me every time. And that's, if, we, if I was to ever meet him or work with him or talk with him or anything, I would want to know where... Can you share what you were? What, what was that? He, was were you just so in the moment with the character, or was it was it grandma for you? Who who was it? Because every time he says, "I miss you, Jenny," I believe him and I cry with him. So the graveyard scene was critical for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't need a replication of the script. I needed a replication of the power of the moment. Yeah, I I got it. I was deeply, deeply emotionally connected and cried with Amir Khan at the grave. And then when he realizes it's his son. Yeah, great moment for him. Great moment because in the movie, Hanks is so gorgeous in that moment. When you see on his face, before he even says it, you see on his face when he says, is, is he smart? Because mm -hmm. he's so scared. And the whole, did I do something wrong? He, I just felt like, 
for any criticisms you may have about the 20% of what yeah. you felt was corny, yeah. I personally loved it because anytime Amir Khan opens his eyes, I smile. <laughs> so, um, but it, it, it was what I was looking for. I was being critical. It's like, don't give me PK. That's lazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Give me a fresh creation. You can't help your big eyes. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. But don't give me PK. And he didn't give me PK. Oh, he definitely wasn't the character of PK at nope. all. Um, people just say that because obviously he opens his eyes wide. He and, can't help it. Um, like when we saw that skit, if you're going to impersonate Amir Khan, you have to open up your eyes nice and wide. He's got these gorgeous big eyes. <laughs> so anyway. Um, what else? Um, Cinematography. Yeah. I thought All that, the technical that was, aspects I uh, thought were fantastic. <laughs> was, I love the train being the place rather than the bus station. Yeah. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just love that thing. Like, there was multiple moments where he came in and slapped. And they added the whole so good just every time. I was looking for moments. I was like, oh, yes, he's going to slap somebody. <laughs> it was so fast and so violent. <laughs> I, thought, I agree. I thought it was really interesting how they wove in. Once again, I just, I, I really like the, the adaptions that they did. But, yeah. Um, um, how they wove in, like, as opposed to her singing nude on, on stage. Uh huh. It was. The, the nude photos, the nude photos, yeah. or, or stuff like that, um, and how Indian um, society reacted to that, uh, like they were protesting her outside the right. thing, or they would say, um, I think, what was the title on the on the um, newspaper? I don't remember. It was something like, uh, yeah, something like she should be shamed or something like that. Um, but it was and then when. Um, after they had sex and she came back and they had sex and then they brought they took her away in the police. I was like, what? What did she do? We thought, yeah. thought she killed him. He's actually but that's what we the, thought. That's what they added for that sense of because I had that thought. The minute they had it, and I thought it was beautifully shot. It's just like in Forest without being a complete replication. But they kept us in that beautiful home with the rain that night, and you know that they're having this intimate moment. And then I'm like, okay, so why is she gonna leave? She's not a drug addict. She's not just going to have this guilt and need to get back to her, you know, her pimp and her lifestyle. What's the just? And then they pulled up. I'm like, oh, nice, good writing. <laughs> um, and for me, the, the 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 there's if a movie makes me want to bring my nearest and dearest with me to see it again, it's what more could you want? This movie makes me want to go tell Ashley, Alexis, and Micah, and and my mom. You want to see this because I think it's going to really surprise you. And even somebody who doesn't know anything about India, they'll be introduced to some things and they're like, "Oh, why did they, why did they change that for the box of chocolates?" Do you do you think that? Because obviously, all the the controversy aside, do you think Indian audiences aren't ready for a character in a film like Forest? I think because their their characters have always been heroes, superhuman. Bravest, strongest, whatever, what have you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. This is a, a person who has a mental illness. Do you think that is some of the disconnect some people have? Unfortunately, I think it's a multifaceted disconnect problem. Yeah. And I think it depends on where you are in India. Mm. Um, I, I think, sadly, you have some people disconnected from the film for reasons that are absolutely, yeah, have nothing to do with the film. We, we don't, we don't. There are, there are people that won't watch it because they don't like Amir Khan. There'll yeah. be people that, don't, that won't watch it because they don't like a line that was said about a particular belief system. There'll be people who don't watch it because they don't, whatever. But I, I, I would like to, there's a huge portion of the Hindi audience that isn't ready for films that don't have the stereotypical hero protagonist. Mm -hmm. Um, Thankfully, I think that's changing. I do too. And right. thankfully, you have filmmakers like Amir Khan who will make the films they want to make, not just make the films they are expected to make. Yeah. Um, and I think it's going to take time. I hope at the very least, I hope at the very least, Amir Khan can, can not just make back what was invested into the film, but can, can make a nice profit from the film because it mm -hmm. deserves it. Yeah. I think it's going to have some legs on OTT once it gets there. And thank yeah. you, Amir Khan, for not putting it there quickly so that yeah. if people want to see it, they have to go to the movie theater. Yep. I agree with that. Yep. But yeah, I, I think it's in the hands of the filmmakers. I don't even know Forrest Gump was a hit when it came out. Uh, was it? Like in terms of box office. box office is what I'm talking. Yeah, about. I mean it was nominated for everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking. I was, don't remember I don't the box if, office. I have no clue if it was a box. Obviously, we know it's a success in terms of how it's been perceived throughout history. Yeah. Now, and I've paid so little attention except for 
that that I, I you know means more people have watched it. So yeah. I don't I don't remember. I have zero clue if it was actually a box office. Success. But I do. I, based on the success of things we've seen on OTT and some of the other films, we're getting there. We're not fully there yet. And I bet there are some people who are like, well, if I'm not going to see a hero and a bad guy, I don't want to watch it. I think there's sadly, that's there. Yeah. But, but anyways, uh, love us, go. love us, hate us. Those are our thoughts, yep. and you can. Do whatever you want in the comments. Want. I don't really Boycott care. Boycott us. Well, actually, whatever you do in the comments actually helps the algorithm. So just argue and yeah, argue. The everybody I talk. Care. Do whatever yeah. you want. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It helps the algorithm. But yeah, <laughs> and accuse us. We're Bollywood bootlickers. <laughs> <now. laughs> Bring it on. Hey, Give Amir, me another hey, Amir Khan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lick those sneakers. <laughs> Uh, I thought everybody in the train actually did really well too. Yeah, I, I do want to say they that. They did. I, I thought I thought it was really sweet actually at the end when he went to go back and touch the the elder. I, I love that. Uh, I thought that was that was really really nice. Anyway, yep. so let us know what you thought about the film. Uh, why we're idiots? Why we're idiots? Why you? Why think, what you what you think? We're right? What you and, think we're right? I don't. By know the way, you, did you get the check from Amir yet? From the sh sorry, I thought. Oh. Anyway. I'll cut it. I'll cut. Okay, that. he'll, I'll cut he'll that. edit that out. I'll cut that part. It was like. 200 lakhs though. Wow.